Blonde is one of the most anticipated biographical psychological drama films set to release in 2022. The movie based on Marilyn Monroe will star Ana de Armas in the lead. By now, many have learned quite a bit about the Cuban-Spanish actress, but do you know the author of the book the movie is based on? In this video, we take a look. Stay tuned and watch. The woman behind Blonde, the biography, is Blonde author Joyce Carol Oates. The 84-year-old is an author of well over 100 books, including Blonde. Published in 2000, Joyce Carol Oates' Blonde was conceived on a grand scale, using the legendary Marilyn Monroe as an emblem of 20th century America. Oates first had the idea for this book when she saw a photograph of a radiant 15-year-old Norma Jean Baker, aka Marilyn Monroe. At the time, she didn't look anything like the Marilyn we know. Norma ended up winning a beauty contest in California in 1941 with a crown of artificial flowers on her curly brown hair and a girlish locket around her neck. Oates identified with Norma Jean's innocence, as she recalled in an interview with her own biographer, Greg Johnson, I felt an immediate sense of something like recognition. This young, hopefully smiling girl, so very American, reminded me powerfully of girls of my childhood, some of them from broken homes, such girls many of whom she had known growing up in rural upstate New York had become characters in her short stories and novels where their dreams usually ended in defeat. Initially, Oates planned to write a novella about the metamorphosis of an ordinary high school girl into a star, who loses her real name and is given a studio name that will obliterate her history and identity. The book was to have ended with the words Marilyn Monroe, but as Oates watched all of Monroe's movies, learned more about her intelligence and humor, her determination to be seen as a serious actress and the intersection of her career with multiple strands of mid-20th century American culture, sports, religion, crime, theater, politics, she realized that she needed a large fictional form to explore a woman who was much more than a victim. The book encompasses Marilyn Monroe's many trials and tribulations of that journey from a young teenage girl to the icon she is today. Director Andrew Dominic later took on the new adaptation of Blonde for Netflix, which is the first of their original content to garner an NC-17 rating. However, did you know that CBS adapted Blonde in 2001 as a mini-series which starred Poppy Montgomery as Monroe? This was obviously a less controversial take on Oates' material than what Dominic has produced. The director has been vocal about the difficulty in delivering the film to Netflix with his vision intact, although he has praised the streamer for standing by his take on Blonde, rather than having him edit it down to an R rating. Dominic has said that there's something in it to offend everyone in Blonde and has stood by the rating, even though he disagrees with it, saying it's an NC-17 movie about Marilyn Monroe. It's kind of what you want, right? But how has Oates reacted to her book being adapted into a Netflix movie? Well, Oates has seen Dominic's cut of Blonde and given her reaction to it, saying that she believes the director succeeded in bringing her novel to life faithfully. She went on to say that she believes the director immersed himself in the perspective of Marilyn Monroe, avoiding the pitfalls of showing her life from the outside looking in. At over 700 pages, the novel is one of Oates's most ambitious works which was also nominated for a Pulitzer Prize and a daunting task to adapt into a feature-length film. But it appears Dominic pulled it off. Here's her actual quote. Andrew Dominic is very brilliant director. I think he succeeded in showing the experience of Norma Jean Baker from her perspective rather than see it from the outside. The male gaze looking at a woman, he immersed himself in her perspective. Marilyn Monroe remains a cultural icon to this day, but much of her history is shrouded in her Hollywood image, rather than the realities of her journey to becoming a household name, which wasn't as easy, fair, or lucrative as one might think, especially during her era. A fascinating and tragic tale, the life of Marilyn Monroe will no doubt be revitalized with Dominic's film, which is already fraught with controversy over the NC-17 rating and long delays due to putting the film together in a way that satisfied both Dominic and Netflix. Having the author's approval, therefore, can surely help entice more viewers to watch the film. But endorsements only go so far, and it will be interesting to see the overall reception of the film when Blonde reaches Netflix subscribers in September. 
that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.